Uh, we called his house. His whole family was there. Tons of people. He's from a real small town in uh, in Texas, and and um, just a great story. So we're excited. Uh, we were excited to add a couple picks, and and uh, really feel like we're uh, back in the mix in this draft in uh, 2019. Looking forward to the, to uh, the rest of the weekend. How hard was it? No, I said, how was that? Oh, I was going to say it was really easy. We just, <laughs> no, uh, we just jumped back. Um, it's important. It, it, it was very important. You know, you're looking at uh, uh, where we started out with it, with having four picks going into this thing is, is not a good feeling. So I think everybody understood that uh, where, were we at, where we were at um, in terms of trading back. Uh, you know, our guys, Nolan, Willie, uh, you know, um, Fit and, and, and Trent and Matt Barry and all everybody did a great job of of uh, calling all the teams and letting everybody know that you know we were in the mix with everything. I mean we were in it, we were in it um, you know probably about maybe maybe ten I'd say about eight picks eight to ten picks away we were we were in it and uh, trying to figure out how we were going to improve the depth of our uh, uh, our whole draft. John obviously with, with the Frank Clark. LJ fits us. I mean, he's a he's a heavy-handed, tough, you know, chip on a shoulder guy that, you know, he lost his mother when he was a, a freshman in college, and uh, he didn't play well in in, in the game that uh, she saw in you know, the last game that she saw, and he's always used that, um, you know, to uh, his advantage. Um, he he uh, you know he played in a complicated system down there at TCU, uh, and you know, really, it was it was important. You know, um, the trade with you know with Frank is something that, you know, it's 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 it, you know Pete and I feel like it's a bittersweet thing. You know, we love Frank, so uh, here we go. We you know we have to we have to move on to the next day, and that's just the way it is in the National Football League. What did lead to trading Frank? Quite frankly, Kansas City's aggressiveness. You know, um, they were extremely aggressive throughout the process. Um, you know, we had we had budgeted to uh, keep Frank. You know, we thought we'd be able to do. Uh, we were hoping to do a long-term deal with him. Um, you know, uh, the the, uh, the deal in Dallas didn't you know didn't didn't help things. You know, um, so yeah, they had you know just Kansas City was very aggressive, and uh, it just got to the point where we knew we had to to uh, help the team and you know do what's right for the organization. So many uh, that run on defensive players and defensive linemen. There wasn't an offensive lineman taken in the top ten, or yeah, yeah. So I mean, it was we were waiting for offensive linemen to start going. They never went, you know. Um, so you know, it was. Uh, I'll tell you some other time. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you in about like maybe ten years or something like that. Okay, but it was. It, yeah, it was pretty. It, it was. Yeah, a lot of activity. How quickly did it come up? Mm -hmm. uh, it was. <laughs> that's part of the story. Right? Yeah, that's part of the story. <laughs> so, um, uh, no, Scott Fitter did a great job of hanging in there with those guys. Um, there was a lot going on um, right there, and there there were a number of teams that wanted to get up there, and you know Scott did a great job of, of just you know hanging in, and uh, yeah, we almost we almost picked you know right there and and. And Scott was right there with those guys, and, and um, so we decided to make the move and move back to 37, and you know acquire a couple more picks. And um, where specific, specifically do you see him playing in your scheme? He's going to play five technique for us, and uh, we'll move. Him. He's very flexible that he can move around. Uh, the guy that I saw the name on pop on the TV that, that he's a lot like Michael Bennett. He has the versatility and the style, um, and the penetration ability. Um, he's really slippery. Um, Terrific pass rush makeup, and so we we're going to fit him right into the scheme in that regard, and, and look forward to that. I think it's going to work out great. We really, you could see it early on that he had that kind of stuff to him, and um, real long, really good length, and he's got really nice pass rush uh, um, bag of, bag of tricks. You know, he's got he's got all the stuff. So 
we think we really got something special in him. And, and uh, I, I fell in love with the fact that he had a big chip on his shoulder and he wanted to prove it and all that too, you know, so it really fit in. You dropped Michael in on, uh, on third downs over the guard there in those two passes. Is that something maybe you'd also see him doing in, in those situations? He can do all of that, yeah. He can do that. We'll, we'll do that mixing with our guys. Um, but that's available to us, yeah. That's similar to what you went down this whole weekend with someone out of Rasheen as well. Yeah, Malik and sorry. Go uh, ahead. I was just yeah, they're, they're similar with uh, just talking about Rasheen. Yeah, um, similar with Rasheen. Um, they'll be they both have the ability to play defensive end. They both have the ability to move inside on the pass rush. Uh, we need all of that flexibility. We need all of those that variety of guys to, to make this happen. Why is that finding that spot so important the last few drafts? That's, it's that's a hard it's a hard spot to find. You yeah, know, the yeah, Calais yeah. Campbells of this world are, are hard to find. The inside guys. But th there's a lot that goes into it, as you can see. There's a lot of dynamics to it, and it's, there's not very many guys suited to have that flexibility. So we're, we're going to be very competitive at that spot, and we, it needs to be like that. Did you have some concern that when you moved back from 21 that you wouldn't be there by the time you picked? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the way the board was coming off, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, <laughs> it went. It, it was pretty crazy. It kind of just went, you know, like like it was supposed to go. We, we don't like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was kind of like clockwork. It yeah. was happening, you know, and it was it was amazing how how tight the whole uh, it didn't play unfolded. Much his, uh, senior year, what went into that, and why wasn't that a big deal for you guys? I mean, injuries. He didn't, or play, or he didn't play much. Yeah, I mean, he he, he, he was a senior year. So. Yeah, he's been a rotational player for those guys. They they're a very fast, uh, aggressive. You know, they play in a real complicated so scheme. He's a guy that like. You know, he played. He played. You know, wasn't necessarily you know you know starter, but you know, five year guy that had to earn his way. Um, like I said, he's from a small town in Texas, and you know, going to TCU and and uh, really kind of trying to figure things out um, along the way. He he he'd admit that I would think, and uh, um, you know, um, him and Vanagu, you know, were a really cool tandem this last year. Um, different players, but you know, he's just a real aggressive, tough. Tough-minded guy, like Pete, like Pete was saying, he's got that small-town chip on his shoulder, and you know, um, yeah, he was really, you know, being on the field at the Senior Bowl was really a cool thing uh, to see because he's he's uh, he's got those heavy hands and he jumps off the ball. He's got that really good sna uh, snap anticipation, and and he's got really nice, real nice, strong, heavy hands to control guys, and you can see him move up and down the line and rush to the side. Yeah, he had a lot of juice at practice, yeah, yeah. things, yeah. 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 yeah he, uh, you know, he was the guy that was, like, you know, getting in people's face. He, he's just our kind of guy. Yeah. That's the best way to describe it. What else did you learn about him? Gosh, Brady. <laughs> Go ahead. Jeez. You guys going to fight? <laughs> he said he held his eyes open for four to five minutes. I don't know if you guys have yeah, I don't know if that's, that's our grid test. Right? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he might be full of crap. I don't know. <laughs> he was perceived as. He's a competitor, you know. Obviously, he's a competitor. <laughs> you, you took that to the senior bowl. He was perceived to have been like graded out the best in the one on one competition there. I mean, was that something you guys saw? Or yeah, he graded out real well at the senior bowl for sure. Yeah, he, he, really, he really helped himself at the senior bowl. What else did you learn about him when you brought him out here, personality wise? Coaches really liked him. I mean, yeah. we want, we wanted the coaches to be able to spend some time with him and, you know, buy into that, his grit and his toughness and his aggressiveness and, and uh, you know, that, that hunger that he has. Uh, I mean, you could pick all these guys apart, right? So we want our coaches to be able to, like, put their hands on him and spend some time with him. Yeah, the, uh, the football Not part put their hands too. on him, but yeah. you know what I mean. It's a yeah. figure of speech. Um, we'll put him through the test football-wise, too, and see if, he, if it came uh, came – Easy to him, it did. Um, he had been in a system, like John said, that was very complicated, but that works to his benefit now. You know, he's really been through a lot of stuff, and he understands a lot of aspects, and he handled himself really well. He really, I think the thing I liked the most is the, the, the chip on the shoulder mentality. He's got something to prove, and that came through in, in, the, in the interviews, too. And, and uh, that was really important for our coaches, like John said, to see him and talk with him and, and get that feel. And, and uh, so it just, like, he's one of our guys, and we're excited to put him in, in the room. What was complicated about the system? No, they had a lot of adjustments and stuff like that, and they had a lot of communications they had to make, and they they, uh, they had to play off one another more so than th some of the things we do, and in, in, we don't think that some of that stuff is necessary for our style. So, but it, it works out for the best. He's He's been schooled well. From what you learned about him, is that chip something? 
And his mother. Uh, yeah. His yeah, mother, so. small town. Like I said, small town, Texas. You know, he's he's representing the town. It's a big deal to him. Pretty much knows everybody in the town. Monday, Texas. You know, right Friday night lights. Think of that, you know. What's yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. No, it's a pretty cool deal. Um, and as the, he did have to prove himself there in, in, in a tough uh, discipline program and all that. He worked his way through it and found his way to the top of it, you know. And, yeah. and, uh, and you know. Yep, tough minded defensive head story. coach that is, you know, extremely intelligent and really pushes his guys. Yeah, he, John and I talked about the Frank trade, but for, for you, just kind of having seen Frank grow, how, was it difficult seeing him go away? Or? Uh, yeah, he's super mad yeah, at me. We, we, <laughs> yeah, we, we love Frank, and he did a, a lot of great stuff here. Um, and we had every intention of, of doing a long-term deal with him and, and hoped that we could. The market just went crazy. We just went out there so far. We've got, we just couldn't work it in, you know. With, and so uh, he, we had to make him available at the end of it. And fortunately, you know, we've got some other, a lot of work to do. You know, John's got all kinds of stuff. He's still dealing with our contracts and, and guys on the team. And, and uh, just a big picture here. <laughs> so I'm fitting it all together. Uh, it was important. Look, look what happened with the movement that we've made in this draft. We were able to get back in this thing with numbers that really can help our uh, our roster, and that was part of it. And it, it was going to create a flexibility for us. The two ones w was was absolutely instrumental. John was on the phone the whole thing, whole time, you know. And, and we got nine picks now, you know. And so I think that's that is a result of what this this us making this this deal, and, and uh, so it worked out. We're going to make the most of it. And we wish him the best. We love him. We really did. And hate hate that we couldn't stay together, but. Just happened. And it's, it's great. For, um, one more thing. It was great. Frank had a great opportunity that we weren't going to be able to afford him here, and so we love him so much that we're happy for him in that regard. You know. So. How do you view the state of your end position now after getting LJ and a couple of the free agents? We're getting. We're getting. We're getting, we're getting going. Right? We're getting going. You know, we had we got a lot of picks and a lot of work to do still. But uh, we, we need we need to see Rasheem come to life and, and uh, Quentin Jefferson continue to play well and, and, and move up and. and uh, um, the emergence last year of Jacob Martin, you know, he was a very effective uh, pass rusher um, for us in the, in the limited time that we gave him. We're counting on him to grow. Cassius Marsh jo rejoined us for the same uh, purpose. So we're, we're focused in on this thing. You know, I don't know a number that you guys got on, on LJ. He, he's, I think he's got an 18% pressure uh, uh, stat on him, which is a really good number, and that's a big number for us. Um, and that's if you go if you look at Jacob. Jacob was in 15, almost 16 too. Frank was at 16. So that's that. That's those kinds of activity guys are guys that are really important for us to rebuild and put it all together again this season. Are you keeping Nas inside, or is he? You know, he's going to have the ability to do both. We did play him some at the end of the season, the five technique, to see moving forward if he could help us in rundowns and all that. Primarily an inside guy and inside pass rusher for us, third down. How would you characterize the urgency to get a defensive end? as opposed to the willingness to, to be flexible with other positions? Wow, that's a, gr that's that's a, that's a really question. cool question. Uh, and that w you know that was the essence of what was happening at the end of that round right there um, because there were so many defensive linemen that disappeared. Now, we, we, can, we can say that, like we can say, hey, you know, we can, you know, and there's a lot of work that goes into it and here are all, here are all the players. And then when they all start coming off, you know, it's like, okay, well, you know, we better we better do what's you know do what's right. Stick to our, stick to what we're doing, and that that means you know sticking to our type of guy too. And so uh, you have to look at the the whole board, the depth, the depth of different positions, and um, that was a position that was uh, dissipating quickly. This class has kind of been talked about as being pretty deep along the defensive line to have twelve guys on the line come off in the first thirty-six. Is that what it was? Twelve. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we thought I didn't. Sure. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. right. yeah right. they just kind of kept coming. Yeah. Was we call those body blows. <laughs> <laughs> well, was that body timing the bigger guy who can move inside? Was that maybe something you guys targeted over, you know, a smaller sort of outside linebacker? <laughs> Not necessarily. Okay. Not necessarily. No. He's he's just it's just part of his, his game. There's a lot. There's there's still you know. There's still a number of guys that are, you know, just a, just different different types of rushers. Coach, do you see Shaquem Griffin as part of that pass rush mix as well? We we uh, plan on on working with Shaquem more so uh, in his pressure stuff and getting him off the edge. We, it was too much we thought last year to mix that with him, but 
Uh, that has been definitely part of the conversation. He's a very effective rusher in college, mostly as a blitzer, and, and uh, but he has such speed. You know, I know we want to check it out for sure, make sure we understand what, if he suits it. What's that like having back-to-back -back picks like that? <laughs> it was really cool. It was it was it was it was awesome. Like it was really, it's, it's pretty intense. Yeah, you know, in the first round too, the dynamics of that, yeah. all of that was going on. Yeah, it was really that's what part of the thing. Yeah. There was there was a lot happening right there. Yeah, and you then they ended up they ended up coming back to back. So it's kind of like okay, well, you know, what are the rules again? How do we, you know, we can do this for you know, you got the big. We can do this for forty five minutes, right? <laughs> Is uh, Jerron Reed's health an issue at all moving forward? He had surgery to lift the other day. No. Was there any temptation to go to another position given the, how many guys went off your board? Well, yeah, there are, there always is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you looked like you were waiting in the room there for <laughs> another call about on that. Well, we were talking to a number of different teams, too. So we were trying to decide, OK, you know, if this deal falls apart, that deal falls apart. Are we just going to pick twice right here, or are we going to, you know, move back and you know pick once and move back? With this draft coming to an end, what do you think? Oh, I think it was very important. Yeah, you know, especially with the way our board our board looked. You know, there's a lot of there's a ton of work that goes into it. I just, you know, wanted to be able to give us the flexibility to be able to, you know, do what we wanted throughout the whole draft, not just, you know, the first round. You, you got to remember the first round's like, you know, everyone knows all the players and we talk about them for months and, you know, you know it's, it's, it's entertainment. Awesome. And that's cool. That's what we do. But that's it's that's not necessarily the meat of the draft. It's awesome. We'll meet those five picks away again, you know. There we go tomorrow. You know, we're, we're cranked up about that chance right there and coming back in the third and, um, that, that's we're fired up about that for sure. A great accomplishment to get that done. So yeah. we can keep working on it. I mean, Tony, Tony knows. I mean, he's you sit in you sit in that room, man. It's like there's a ton of people on that board, and you're like, all right, you know, you want <laughs> you want them all. You know what I mean? <laughs> you want to be able to have all those guys compete at at every position you possibly can, right? I mean. All right. Thank you. Thank cool. You. Thank, you. Thank you guys. Have a great weekend.